All right, all right, all right, Scorpio. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, yes indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2021. Yes indeed, we are here to have fun. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for coming in and showing me some love. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading, the only thing you need to do is click the About tab on my YouTube page or the description box in this video, and it gives you the pricing list, the various ways to connect with me for a personal and private reading. The best way to connect with me is to send me a message on Instagram Messenger. Or if you do not have Instagram messengers, just go ahead and shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. And I'll go ahead and take care of you and help get you connected with me so we can do our video reading. Um, if these, uh, these videos resonate with you, if they give you insight, if you want to shoot some love to the page or just send some support. Also, you can check the description box of this video or the About tab on my YouTube page. And it gives you various forms to connect with me to show love and support, okay? So, Scorpio, you know how we always do. We always come through and give Father God the universe however it is that you want to connect with him um we always give father god his love his praise his flowers before we get into the reading so if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me so i can say a quick prayer for us and then we're going to get into the reading okay so, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. Father God, we're feeling very determined and strong. You know, we're constantly transforming and just like... Um, finding different levels of ourselves that we are just learning about and starting to explore and we're always just like learning new things about ourselves turning new pages like eager to get to the new chapter the new part of our story father god so i just feel like we're going through another stage of just evolvement you know we're just spreading our wings once again learning how to fly a little bit higher than we were flying before father god we're just you know trying to keep our momentum at the same time continuing to excel you know so father god continue to just you know continue to press through our life continue to push us forward don't let us get stagnant don't let us get comfortable because you know that we will you know continue to keep that pressure on us because pressure creates diamond fathers god so uh, we thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in our life and we thank you so much for the journey that we're on we thank you so much for you just magnifying just we can see everything a little bit closer. We thank you so much for magnifying our blessings so we can see how close we are to a Father God. So um, we appreciate everything. Give us the guidance that we need to receive for today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So listen, we got general energy, career, and finance on this side. We're going to take one card from each deck over here, and then we got love. We're going to take two cards from each deck over here, or however it comes out, because I'll be planning to take one card. And, you know, God do what he want to do, so. Let's get into this, Scorpio. All right, Father God, give me guidance for Scorpio. Give me guidance for Scorpio for April 2021. Thank you. What is this? You got the mirror. You got the mirror. It always trips me out about how in this card, it's just like a sliver. It's not like a whole mirror. It's just like one piece. It's just one piece. 
And I like how in this mirror, you see how it looks like it got all of the little stars and stuff in the middle of it. It just seems like it's like reflecting like a crystal or something. Um, you know, like, I don't know, like if someone put one of these like geodes in front of the mirror and it's just like sparkling back like all of the crisp, you know what I'm saying? Um... I definitely feel like you're reflecting some type of diamond energy. I feel like you like your reflection. You look, you like what you see looking back at you. Maybe finally for the first time in a long time. I feel like you've been working on yourself a lot to repair your image, to repair uh, the way that you look at yourself, the way people look at you um with that moon in the, in the back i feel like you're very um influential you definitely use your intuition um you're con you're in control of your emotion you understand the various cycles and the phases that you've been going through um your reflection right now is showing maturity is showing me someone that is gifted is showing me someone that is learning is showing me is someone that um again uh that understands that pressure creates diamonds uh understand that at one point in time that you were going through a diamond in a rough stage but right now you are very polished you're very very polished there's something about when the light hits you how that diamond sparkles and just all the little prisms and stuff. It just shoots all of that light all everywhere. I definitely feel like you're giving off a very powerful energy. And that the energy that you are giving off is being reflected in the gift and the uh, abundance and the resources and the opportunities and the platforms. And just everything that's being generated around you. It's, it's reflective of that energy and that beauty and that worthiness that you feel inside. You know that you are a diamond. You know? Um, that's what I'm getting. That is most definitely what I'm getting there with that mirror card so that is a very powerful energy Scorpio I love that energy and I feel like right now you're just starting to get just a sliver of your success you're finally starting to see just a sliver <laughs> of what you know your blessings can do to you you know like you're so blessed you're so blessed give me guidance okay who is this you got Takashi Maraki Kami. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I don't know who he is, but he got to be like an artist or some type of like clothing designer or something. Number one, I fuck with all of that color. I like everything that he's giving me right now. Is y'all messing with it? I went through a phase in my life, and because y'all know I'm a Scorpio too. I went in a phase in my life, Scorpio, where I always, especially when I'm going to go buy clothing, I always go for the dark colors, like the blacks, the grays, like the blues, like, you know, the, you know, I wouldn't even really buy whites and stuff like that. It's always like dark ass colors. Like right now where I am, I really do feel like my energy exudes every color of the rainbow like i don't go anywhere looking for no type of dark colors i want bright colors i want something that like exudes like every inch of my personality so like i really want to live my life in color like i'm not in no dark phase where i'm just i don't i don't I don't want that to be a part of my appearance. I want color. I want to pop. I want to vibrate. I want to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want my energy to bounce from off of me to someone else to distance and that. And, and I want everyone that's around me to pop as well. Everything that's around me to reflect, like, my energy. My energy isn't dark, so I don't wear dark clothes. I don't hang around people that wear dark shit. And that is just, like, in the dark light. And the, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, 
I, I just like that. I didn't even read the card. It says, if a museum's cash register rings, answer it. Okay. If a museum's cash register rings, answer it. The difference between style and brand is copyright. Ha! <laughs> The difference between style and brand is copyright. <laughs> Y'all let that sink. Earn your artistic license to change lanes. I love him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love him. Can I love him? Can I love him? I love him. I love him. Mr. Takashi, baby. I feel like, Scorpio, what this is saying to me, if it's something that you do, specifically that is you like shit, and it just so happened to bring you a cute coin, answer that call. Like, answer your call in, Scorpio. Are y'all feeling that? I am feeling that. The difference between style and brand is copyright. Like, honor yourself by coining your style. It's something that is defined. You defined, like, the mythical unicorn, the, the different, unique oxymoron or you know what I'm saying it's like I could be this in that at the same time like you are that uh salt and sweet and all of that and it make it taste good and it look good like you are like the salted caramel I'm sorry <laughs> like you know how everybody they want chocolate but then you got a whole people that just said this trend the salted caramel and now you got everybody on the salted caramel craze like you're giving me salted caramel like <laughs> Scorpio, I don't know why I'm to get this off the car route. You know? Uh, earn your artistic license to change language. It's something about your difference. It's something about your uniqueness. You about to coin some shit. You about to magnetize some shit. Something that is so small that make you so different. It's about the, you about to have the magnifying glass on you, Scorpio. Because I know I said something about that in the prayer. Did I not? You about to have the magnifying glass on you, Scorpio. Ooh. You about to change. You about to change the game, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh. You about to change the game. God bless the people that dare to be different. The ones that dare to stand out. The ones that don't want to be like everybody else in the crowd. Like, God bless you. You're the ones who mold and shape the world. <laughs> we are the trendsetters. Give me guidance for Scorpio. Give me one card for Scorpio. That's like 18,000 cards. I've seen the... Uh, I seen the four cups. So the four cups is basically telling me it's like, um, I feel like you just bored with your life and your state is, is, of existence as it is. It, I feel like it's something like you you keep trying to reach out and go towards something and try to obtain um, something in regards to your career and your professional life, and it just seems like it just is missing you. People are just like offering this experience to other people and it's like nobody is giving you a chance and you're constantly knocking at this door and it just seems to me like you you're not even interested in it i think you're getting to the point where you're beyond trying to fit the mold of what everybody else is doing like i tried to do that like i, I like you could have even been successful at it at one point in time in your career and i feel like Earn your artistic license to change lanes. You won't be known for some. You're not supposed to be where everybody. You're not supposed to be that textbook version of 
what people think you're supposed to do or what people think you're supposed to be. That's not Scorpio. <laughs> you got the lovers, baby. I'm loving it. You have a soul connection. You have a soul connection with the universe. It's something that makes you vibrant. You bring warmth. You bring life. You bring energy. You bring energy to a room. You bring life to a situation. You bring happiness. You bring laughter. You bring um, like a freshness. Like a fresh. Like a. I don't know. Now I'm getting now I'm getting a fresh baked <laughs> salted caramel cookie <laughs> with that bomb ass like with the little caramel bits in it with the little caramel drizzle with the little bit bitch shut up let me shut up because that sounds so good and I'm about to go like don't make me have a fat bitch moment because I will go in there and look I got a fat in a bitch in me that be screaming I will go in and go cook me them cookies right now girl don't do me I will go to shoppers okay 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 okay, okay. hold on <laughs> Because y'all about to give me the bunchies. Okay, listen. I feel this level of intensity in you. There's something growing in you. I feel like there's this uh, level of um, youth. You still have um, that spunk, that child life innocence in you. I feel like it's uh, something that's growing in you. It's something that's growing out of you. It, it it exudes through your pores. Like you shine, Scorpio. I feel like you have a level of um, playfulness, but yet at the same time, a very dominant, immature um, aspect to you too. Because the sun to me represents like a, 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 a masculine, dominant energy. You know, and that sun, the way that it's shining over top of these two individuals, it's something that stands you apart from other individuals that brings this connection. Now, even though that this is the lover's car and it's telling you about a soul connection, it's telling you about something that brings life to you. It's like almost, almost something that seems like a fairy tale. It's something that. You're destined to be this. You're destined to do this. Your heart beats. You thrive. It's something that comes naturally. It exudes from your pores. You are this. Do you understand? I can tell that as you start to progress in whatever this is, um, and again, if the museum cash register rings answer it are you getting me scorpio if someone says i'm willing to pay you for it boom that's what the fuck i'm talking about answer it the difference between style and brand is copyright own it be it do it this is you you are a trendsetter you were meant to wake up every day and do what is your God-given talent and your blessed honor. <laughs> Amen. Hello? I'm so serious. Like, you will be able to wake up every day and go about your life and see the reflections of your gift and art and other people. And you can say, you know what, these motherfuckers are saying my words. They are uplifted in my energy. They are wearing my clothes. That is my style. That is my. I coined it. I. Uh, this is. Uh, okay? Everybody is like fucking with my vibration. My flow, my gift, my talent. Ooh, it's going to be mirrored back to you. This is going to be a love. This is going to be a passion. This is going to be. Something that unites you to your purpose, to your gift. And when it hits you, it's going to hit you. That's all I'm going to say. I felt 
very dominant. Like you're you're naturally going to dominate whatever this is. Cause it, can't nobody do it like you because you the one that started this. There might be many carbon copies, but there's only one original. And the way that I'm even taking this stuff, it's like when you walk around and you see these mirror image uh, uh, images of what you started, what you created. You don't even take that like, oh, they're copying me. It's like you are thankful. It's just like that's different from people that are so immature and you see people trying to like take something oh them motherfuckers is copying me they this and they you not mature enough to understand imitation is flattery you gave them motherfuckers the sauce like you not even giving yourself the credit you too busy trying to be in the negative instead of being in the light baby do you understand <laughs> Baby, you created the sauce. Don't ever. <laughs> Come on. Got too much sauce. Give me guidance for Scorpio. Give me my card for Scorpio. You got travel. Come on, Scorpio. Scorpio, you got travel in your future. You got movement in your future. You got elevation in your future, Scorpio. I'm trying to tell you, you're going to soar above the rest. I definitely see an intense focus, um, an intense focus in like creating this manuscript, creating this document, like documenting the history, making it's like uh, you're documenting the timeline of the success of something. It's just like I can't believe this is happening. Like I'm able to travel here and do what I love for a living. I feel like you're documenting and you're able to move around and explore for a living. Your life purpose involves traveling. Look at how happy this man is. And it's like making connections all over the world, being able to speak, being able to like, make so many connections to advance yourself. It is so beautiful. I love this energy. And I didn't even realize this. I don't know what the hell this is. It looks like, oh, shit, it looks like a goddamn bong. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what is this? What is this little thing in the middle? What is this? I don't know, it's a fountain. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> okay. You got a dark haired woman. Okay. So you got a dark haired woman. And if you focus on what she's doing, she seems to be at a piano or something. Okay, I'm hearing like stressing yourself out, like trying to practice notes or something like that. Like the four of spades is like not a good thing in regards to when it comes, I guess, in like a career situation. If you look at what she's doing, it's like, I feel like she's over exalting her energy and trying to be perfect. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I don't know if it's like the opportunity of a lifetime for you to show your skill or something like that. But the fourth page encourage you to like take the ego out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because you're already good. You're already gifted. You're already talented at this. You wouldn't be here if... You wouldn't be given this opportunity if it wasn't meant for you to do this and if it wasn't if you weren't going to thrive in it. Take the time to completely remove the stress and replace it with faith. That's all I'm going to say. 
Don't ever second guess your gifts or like it, I don't even want to say you being deserving of, of, of the blessings that are coming to you because I don't want to say it but then I, I really do have to say it because I mean I feel like we as people we do this shit all the time it's like we'll go through so much bullshit in our life and then once we finally get mirrored back the reflection of every fucking thing that we wanted, everything that we pray for. We sit back and make ourselves feel bad for <laughs> being blessed than a motherfucker after everything we've been through, after everything that we done did to transform ourselves. We sit back and worry ourselves and worry about if it's real and why and all of this stuff. Don't do that to yourself, baby. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't st don't stress yourself out too much trying to be too perfect. You know what I'm saying? You do you what's naturally you. You acknowledge yourself. And you live in that moment of praise and happiness and all of this. Don't ever allow your mind to defeat you. Because when you, we already know that as Scorpios, once we do that, that's when that self-sabotage get in the shit. Right? Am I lying? Scorpio, am I lying? Huh? Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to read you real quick what the um, four spades means. And, you know, like the four spades, no spades is real good energy. But it's really just to encourage you to um, take a rest. You know what I'm saying? To take a rest. Don't, again, replace stress with faith. Replace worry with faith. The four of spades represents illness, recuperation, the need for caution, okay? The bed, the sick bed, the hospital room, the coffin, the jail cell, rest, confinement, exhaustion, the need to take it easy to move at a slower pace, bed written, feeling fenced in, staying at home, an unhealthy situation, feeling trapped in, feeling sick and tired. So, y'all get what I'm saying? It's like... I'm even feeling like I'm getting it in the concept in a context of this career and this work experience and this blessing that I feel like is about to come to y'all, Scorpio. I really feel like please don't place no worries over all of the blessings that are being placed in front of you. Please understand that you are so deserving of it. When you look at yourself in that mirror, you see them stars. You see that diamond. You see that shining, emanating back at you. Intuitively, you led yourself through this progress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You did that shit. Listen, the motherfuckers wasn't with you shooting in the gym. Like, do you see the dedication? What is she worried about focusing herself on her fucking craft? Look at her. Her craft. That's what you worried about. That's what you worried about. <laughs> the motherfuckers wasn't with you shooting in the gym. Bitch, you know what you doing. Let's go on over here to goddamn love, Scorpio. Come on now. Because, honey, when you blessed and you gifted, I can't even say nothing no more about that. Don't stress yourself. Just allow yourself to be blessed. Please allow. Just allow the goodness. Please, Scorpio. Please. All right. So let's see what we got. Give me two for love. The Scorpio for April. Give me two for love. For Scorpio. Ooh, we got free your mind. And the rest will follow. Boom, boom, boom. Be colorblind. Don't be so shadow. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, girl, free your mind. Girl, free your mind. Baby cakes, bunches of oats, pudding pop, honey drop. Listen, come on, Scorpio. I feel like... And then we got to throw this on over here with that, too, because I do feel like the, le the, the need for release, feeling caged in, feeling like you've been on detention or something in the love department. It's like, OK, like I know I might been, you know, put on time out for whatever foolishness I got myself in the last time. I know I had to go put myself on Chile. Uh, uh, Chile, okay, a Chile moment, but okay, now, 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 listen, Father, now listen, Jesus, okay, I've been practicing all my gifts, I ain't been worrying about, you know, I've been taking the rest, I, you know, I've been, 
Okay, I put the poom poom on clank clank now. I've been, I've been holding it down. I've been holding it down now. I'm about ready for a release. I'm ready to come on out. I'm ready to travel. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to scoop my boots on round. I'm ready to get on round now. Okay, I'm ready to go on out. I'm ready to meet my love. Okay, I'm ready for some real love. Okay, the father, the father, father. Okay, it is time to take back control of your life. So, I feel like we need to release ourselves from like whatever type of mental blockage, stress, worry, commitments. Like, you can free yourself. You can find time. Like. You can find the opportunities to do what you want to do. Because I do feel like in some aspect, there's someone feel like they might not have the time. They may not have the ability, I don't know, to date, to go out or something. Like, I feel like free yourself of feeling and thinking about what you can't do. I only focus on what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You can take back control over your life. If there's something that you, I don't care if it's your kids. I don't care if it's a financial situation. I don't care if it's a car. If you really want to do it, release yourself of the worry. It says romantic feelings. Okay. So, am I taking reverses? I don't know. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring so i do have to take that in the reverse and recognize it for what it's saying so scorpio what it's saying is i feel like you guys need to free yourself from like this childish like attitude of feeling like i don't i don't give a fuck about love i ain't tripping over nothing i ain't trying to do this and this this and that and i ain't worried about this i ain't worried about no bitches i ain't worried about no niggas i ain't worried about being in a relationship i feel like you need to release yourself from that attitude like your past doesn't reflect your future I feel like you guys are completely beyond whatever it was that went on in the past. You've completely released this self, yourself from it because it's not even being evident here on the table. I feel like you guys just need to remove the confines around your mind and feeling like you're not receptive and you're not accepting love right now. Because you're trying to convince yourself that you don't give a fuck about it and you do give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? So stop trying to block out, like really hoping, wanting, feeling and wanting to enjoy like a healthy relationship. Like regardless of whatever went on, like you don't give a fuck about it no more. You can still have a healthy future relationship. But it's not going to happen if you... Keep trying to convince yourself you don't give a fuck about it. If that's what you keep saying to yourself, like, you're never going to step out of this box and mentally get yourself prepared for that door to open, for you to attract someone with chemistry, someone that is like a true counterpart for you. If you're not ready for it, God knows it, the universe knows it, and it'll be reflected of what is coming in your life. Because you're saying you don't want it. Your feelings, your real feelings, are worth exploring. And they are real. So, stop blocking it. Stop. Stop blocking that out. Warm your heart up. And open yourself back up to a Scorpio. Mm, I'm over here. My bad. Alright. Give me guidance for love for Scorpio for April. Clarify for yourself. Romantic feelings. Give me two cards. Thank you. Need two cards for Scorpio. Thank you very much. <clears throat> you got the princess of torches in the reverse. It's 
saying? It's like, again, it's like something about you being like a feisty individual. And um, it's something about for the women. I feel like you guys are not exuding like uh, stability. Like. I don't know if it's like memes you post. I don't know if it's your communication or something that you're doing. But y'all giving off commitment phobia to me. Like, because <laughs> remember the romantic feelings came in the reverse. So it's like, you got to you gotta release yourself from feeling like you don't want a relationship. And it's, I'm serious. It's, I'm getting someone that has like some type of commitment phobia. Or I don't know if it's just someone that a female is dealing with. I don't know. But someone... <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Because it's, it's like that's what you're giving off. It's like someone that... You can't be committed to because this person doesn't want commitment. This person isn't looking for longevity. This person is probably looking for just right now. There's no like type of emotion. Like this person isn't going to give you the emotional uh, commitment. It's more kind of just like a fun. We chilling. We the homie. Like I feel like a kind of a friend zone type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like... You, you'll you meet someone and then quickly it's just like I don't know if you become uninterested in or if you're just not meeting someone who sexually satisfies you like it could very much so be that as well and it's like mm -hmm. And then again, I have to say this as well. It's like it's like you can know that there could be like a part of you that you know that is difficult to put up with. It could be like your feistiness and you're just like hot, quick tempered or your willingness to go or like you may not have. An attachment to people like you'll just leave like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you don't even try to power trip with people about. Arguing about fit, you just be like, all right, bye. <laughs> Something is just like you just kind of like get up and go like quickly, and it's like I don't know. I don't know if that's like something that people know about you. Like you not, you not one of them type of people that's gonna put up a fight and that's gonna argue with people and that's gonna stay. Like I, it, you know what I'm saying? Like. If the romantic feelings are not there, like, you're going to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, what is this? This is the empress in the reverse. Uh, and then this is the magician in the reverse. Really? Really now? Really now? Really now? So, okay, this is what I'm getting here. And I don't know who this applies to, but I'm just going to keep it 100. So, it's like, <laughs> I'm getting off the energy here. Like, this is someone, I don't know why I'm kind of getting like um like a mistressy kind of vibe here I really I really feel like um I'm getting it's like this is like a second mother to a child or something like that now I'm getting a whole totally different story okay now okay so I feel like there's someone here that there's an in and out type of energy i feel like there could be someone that is feisty that could possibly be i want to say a little territorial um this could be i don't want to say that this is like this is like either someone's second baby mother or this is someone that 
someone does not have children with like whoever this is this is this is this is not the mother or this is not someone that someone would have a child with because of the inner out energy and the feeling like this person uses their power to manipulate people for the wrong reasons. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like it's like this is something that people look at whoever this is and I'm sorry I can just only tell you what I'm getting. It's like you need to change this about yourself because it's something that you're giving off that make people feel like you have some type of commitment phobia. Um, you're not really like mother material. Like the Empress in the reverse is someone that is either like someone. I'm serious. It's like either someone that doesn't take care of their children. They don't really take care of home like that. Like things don't grow around them. Like they're not really focused on their appearance and their looks. They might have let their body or their shape uh like go like your it's just it, it's like maybe in the past like you could have just you looked better like you could have just let yourself go appearance wise you know what I'm saying and it's like you might need to change your appearance you might need to change the way you dress you need to change something it, you need to do something different about yourself because it's like it's not giving off the right impression. It's like with the magician in the reverse. Like, again, this is someone that... It's like you very much so know what you're up to. You know what you're doing. Like, you could be other type of person that doesn't understand, like, the, the power that you have over people and I really don't want to say that because I, I, I'm not getting that. I'm getting that it's this is someone. Because I'm trying not to be offensive here. I really am. But what this is, this is really telling me like. Someone needs to get out of this mode of just feeling like, man, fuck everybody. I don't want no relationship. I'm just doing whatever the fuck I want to do. Um, because I don't know if this is someone that looks at you like that. If you look at yourself like that and you know that this is something that you need to change about yourself. But, like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could be looking at your body and image and feeling like you need to lose some weight. You need to pull yourself together. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to buy some new clothes. You need to do some better things to like spruce up yourself or whatever um yeah. I don't know I am kind of getting a sneaky I get what I want type of energy and I don't mind being a sick because then I say something like a second wife or a second baby mother or a second something like this could be like the baby mama on the side the one on the side the one that they sneak around with, the one that knows that they use their energy to and their power and their sex appeal or something to <sighs> Jesus, I know this definitely ain't got to do with me, but I don't know who the fuck this is, boy. But this shit went all the way. Blah. Like I ain't seen no cards like this in the Scorpio energy in a minute. Like, I don't know if this is you got the coffee cup. You got the keys in the ring. So, again, this could be someone that... Now I am getting like this is like a second wife or someone that is not the wife's mother. Someone that they know the power and the manipulation that they have. You know, they could not have romantic feelings for... This person like that. You know what I'm saying? This person feels like. 
they just do what they want to do. Like this, like a latchkey kid. Like this one to look this, <laughs> like um, you know, like how how Nicki Minaj say, "All you niggas is my sons." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this one of my latchkey kids. I bet at the coffee shop. <laughs> like I don't even really want no more attachment to this person or something like that. But still, it's like you know how to manipulate them. You know how to use them like you know how to work them like you might be very in and out with this person you may only use this person for sex or whatever you know um you may know that this person has to sneak away from their wife like i like i'm serious because this could be oh i don't know y'all this is crazy it says meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted a friendship again this is not the wife like this is not the wife this is the princess of torches like this could be a little young little thought little joke i'm serious i'm fucking serious now like i don't know if this is some scorpio man that needs to free itself from this little from this little shit it's like you don't even really have no serious emotions with this joke like you just met this John on the fly, on the go. Like, the keys on the ring, it says many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along a one night stand. So, this is okay, it's coming together now in the name of Jesus. Because I'm just like, who is this? This can't be fucking Scorpio. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? This is living la vida loca. Okay. <laughs> ah, Dios mío. Okay, come on. Give me two cards. Let's see. What is this? The Fool and the Reverse. So, again, this is something that I feel like someone knows that what they're doing is wrong. It's like I, I, someone is trying to stop moving towards someone because the, the Fool is movement it's like someone momentum walking traveling it's like i need to stop going over there i have to stop my foolish behavior like again it's like it's time to take back control of your life this could be someone that's having some like type of affair and is trying to resist this princess of torches like this could be like a younger individual now that all of this shit is coming out it's like this could be someone and like they're uh, mid to late 20s or something like that it, just be a little young little thought jump like I'm so serious a little young little <laughs> definitely not someone that you had that this person would have kids with and again this is the magician in the reverse they very much so know what the fuck they're doing they know how to characterize and how to manipulate people how to uh <laughs> you know to get into people's head to get people to do what they want them to do like they know how to use the elements and the energies to pull tricks and schemes off and it's like i need to stop meeting this person i need to stop stringing this person along and like this isn't good then you got the empress like th yeah this person has a wife bruh you got the empress in the reverse up here and then you got the empress right here this person has a motherfucking wife Living la vida loca. Y'all, y'all dumb. Is you dumb? Is you dumb? Is you dumb? What is you dumb? What is you doing? Papito. What is you doing, papito? No, papito, no. Jesus. Louisa. I'm sorry. I gotta be nosy. Can I be nosy, y'all? Can we be nosy? Can I pull out the kipper? Don't skip her. <laughs> I gotta pull out the kipper. Don't skip her. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, Scorpio. Y'all know this is my page. I do what I wanna. Okay, I do what I wanna on my page. Kippa, can you just give me two cards? Please just <sighs> wrap this up for me. Wrap it though, please. Wrap it though. Wrap it though for me, cause I don't under I don't know what this person gonna do. They look the courthouse. Oh, cause you live in a vida loca. Boy, you shoulda 
girl, stop it while you was ahead, honey. She gonna hit your ass like drop dead Fred with the motherfucker paperwork. She about to get that paperwork. She about to get that paperwork. Ooh. <laughs> you living a vida loca. You was living a vida loca, were you? You poo, son, poo, you down. Oh, living a vida loca. Bitch. The fuck? She said I'm reloaded. Listen, a great four. <laughs> so I'm about to have to come up off a great fortune. Okay, once she come up out of this goddamn head, like once this empress come the fuck up out this goddamn courtroom, fuck around. Okay? Pool, shine, pool, you down. Olive and love it all Oh, bitch. <laughs> I just me ho. Look, I gotta go. Y'all is messy boots. Cause I'm just like, I was struggling. I just can't Scorpio. Listen, I was struggling. Ta. Is that a word? I was struggling. Ta. Is that a word? None of them is. It don't matter, bitch. I was struggling. I was struggling. Okay, bitch. Cause I was like, who is this? Who is this right here in the name of Jesus? I rub. Huh? We don't do all that. Scorpio, we are loyal, okay? We're exuberant. We're prince. We're empresses, girl. We don't do this motherfucking pussy popping, pussy rolling, and pussy footing around, girl. We don't do that. Girl, we don't do that. Girl, you fed on no, no. Maybe back in the day, but you know, don't tell nobody about that shit, you know what I mean? Okay, anybody gotta go Scorpio. Now listen, we don't know about that shit no more, okay, bitch? We don't, we don't know that side of Scorpio. We done transformed and shit, okay? We done let, okay, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm bad, bitch. Y'all hit the like button, please.